a triangle has vertices a negative 2, 4, b 6, 2, and c 1, negative 1. Prove that triangle ABC is an isosceles right triangle. So let's draw this out. Even though it says the use of the axes is optional, I always encourage you to use these resources. So a is negative 2, 4. This is a. b is 6, 2. So 2, 4, 6, 2. This is b. And c is 1, negative 1, which is right here. So I'm going to connect this. And I'm going to connect that. And I'm going to connect that. All right. So it says to show that ABC is a isosceles right triangle. Well, in order for us to do that, we need to find out the side lengths of AB, uh, of AC, BC, uh, and or AB. So AC, let's see here. Uh, so the side length of AC is equal to the square root of, so going from A to C, I'm going to go down 2, 4, 5, and over 3. So 5 squared plus 3 squared. Right? This is Pythagorean theorem. Uh, and that would be 25 plus 9, which is 34. So square root of 34. So this is length side length AC. And then side length AB is going to be, so going from, not AB, CB, I'm going to go 2, 4, 5, and up 3. So again, 5 squared plus 3 squared. So CB is also equal to square root of 34. So I've proven the two sides are congruent. All I need to show is just two sides congruent for a triangle to be isosceles. Next, I'm going to find the slope of AC. The slope of AC, I'm going to go down 5 and over 3. The slope of CB... I am going to go up 3 and over 5. So the slope of AC is negative 1 over slope of CB. So therefore, triangle ABC is an isosceles right triangle. So again, it's true because of this fact here and because CB is equal to AB, is equal to AC, I meant.